Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD UI, right? So first of all, you can see here some prerequisites. So first of all, we need to install Minikube. Then we need to install kubectl. And after that, we need to install Docker, right? So here, I have already installed, oh, sorry, launched my instance. And in this my instance, I have already installed Docker, Minikube, as well as oh, kubectl, right? So if I enter kubectl version, as you can see the details about my kubectl, after that, if I enter Minikube version, so as you can see, I already installed Minikube as well as if I enter Docker, so you can see the details of about my Docker, right? So I have already installed Docker, Minikube as well as kubectl, okay? Okay, now let's start to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD. So if you don't know how to install Minikube, kubectl and Docker, so as you can see here, this is my article to install Argo CD on Minikube and deploy an app. So you can use uh, follow this article to install these prerequisites, right? Okay, so now here to deploy application on Minikube. So first of all, we need to install Argo CD on Minikube cluster, right? So here, start the Minikube cluster Kubernetes cluster on Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. So first of all, we need to start our Minikube cluster, okay? Sorry, we need to start our Minikube. So here I have already installed Minikube. So that's why I'm going to start my Minikube first. So as you can see, it's starting. So updating the running because it is already running. So wait for a few seconds. So yeah, as you can see, it's done. Kubectl is now configured to use Minikube cluster and default namespace by default. Okay, right now our uh, Minikube is running, right? Okay, so let's clear the screen first. And now after that, sorry. After that here, the next step is here, just like other Kubernetes tools, Argo CD requires a namespace with its name. So therefore we will create a namespace for Argo CD. So we need to create Argo CD namespace before installing the Argo CD. So let's create Argo CD namespace using this command kubectl creates Argo CD, uh, sorry, namespace Argo CD. So my namespace will be Argo CD. So as you can see, namespace Argo CD created. Okay. Now after that, Argo CD can be installed using its manifest. So first you will need to download this manifest and apply them to your Minikube cluster. So now I'm going to install Argo CD manifest, right? So using this command. So the command is like that, kubectl apply hyphen n Argo CD hyphen f and the URL, right? So I'm going to install Argo CD. So now as you can see, it's done, right? Okay, now after that, after installing, you can see once the installation completes successfully, you can use the watch command to check the status of your Kubernetes pods. So let's check our Kubernetes pods, it's running or not. Firstly, I'm going to clear the screen first. And after that, let's watch. So as you can see, it's running, it's not running, it's running, it's pod initializing. So wait for a few seconds can see the age is 35 seconds ago and now you can see already one of one one of one one of one one of one zero of one wait for a few seconds it's also running and as you can see it's also one of one now you can see the status is running and ready is one of one and the age is 68 seconds ago, right? Okay, it's done. So now it's our pods is running. Okay, 
Now, after that, the second step is access Argo CD UI on browser. So now we have successfully installed Argo CD, right? And our ports are successfully running after check this so command, right? Okay. Now the next step is access Argo CD UI on browser. So how to access? So by default, the Argo CD server is not exposed outside, outside the cluster. So you can expose it using port forwarding to the access Argo CD UI. So first of all here, we need to enter this command to port forwarding, right? So the command is like that kubectl port forward svc slash argocd server hyphen n argocd address 0 .0 0.0.0.0 and 8080. That 0.0.0.0 that means any IP address and the 8080 is port number, right? So I'm going to enter this command here and as you can see forwarding from this, uh, 0 0.0.0.0 and 8080. That means any IP address and the port number is 8080. So let's access our Argo CD UI in our browser. So how to access? So first of all, you need to copy your instance IP. So my instance, as you can see, the status is running. So I'm going to copy my instance IP and hit on browser. And our port number is 8080, right? Okay. So let's enter. Okay, after that, you will get the output like this. Your connection is not private. So now how to access our Argo CD UI? So first of all, click on advanced, then go to the proceed to something IP address. And now as you can see, this is our Argo CD UI, right? Let's get stuff deployed. So first of all, it will ask username and password, right? So first of all, the default username of Argo CD is admin right and password so we need to uh, we need to get our password so how to get our password so here you can see here to get the initial password for the admin admin user to log in right so we need to enter this command to get our password so the command is like that to get our secret password right so I'm going to enter my command to get my password. So here, as you can see the port forwarding, right? So that's why here I'm going to open new session. Let's clear the screen first. And here I'm going to enter this command to get my password. So my password is here, as you can see. From here to here, right? That's the Ubuntu, right? So nine to why okay i'm going to copy my password and paste in this and click on sign in so as you can see we are successfully logged in and this is our argo cd ui that's this is our argo cd dashboard right okay so we have successfully installed argo cd we have successfully accessed argo cd in our browser right okay so what is the next step now the next step is here you can see okay here now we are going to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD UI. Okay, so first of all here, we are going to deploy guestbook application from Argo CD official example apps repository. Okay, as you can see here, we are going to deploy guestbook application from Argo CD official example apps repository, right? So first of all, after login, we need to click the plus new app button, right? As you can see here, new app button. Okay. After that, here you can see here your app name, help guest book, and use the default product, uh, project default and leave the sync policy as manual. Okay. Let's start. So, our app name will be help guest book, right? Okay. So, I'm going to Enter my app name Helm Guestbook and the project name is default and sync policy. Keep it manual. Okay, let's scroll down. After that, here in repository, you can see. After that, connect the Argo CD example apps repo to Argo CD by setting repository URL to the GitHub repo URL. So leave the revision as head and set the part to the Helm Guestbook. So here you can see. Our repository URL is here. So I'm going to use this repository here, Argo CD example apps, right? So we are going to use this repository, 
right to deploy our application so let's copy the repository url from here and i'm going to enter here okay then revision head then path here if i click on this path session i'm going to set the path helm guest book okay my path will be helm guest book as you can see here As you can see here, the setting URL leave the helm revision and the set path to the helm guest book. Okay. After that, for the destination here, if I scroll down, you can see destination. Okay. Destination cluster URL, the set is default. Kubernetes dot default dot SVC and the namespace will be default. As you can see, my namespace also will be default. So I'm going to enter the default namespace. Okay, so let's check for once. First of all, application name Helm Guest Book, then project name default, sync policy manual, then repository URL. After that, revision head and path is Helm Guest Book. So if I go to my this uh, GitHub uh, action uh, repository, you can see the folder is Helm Guest Book here, right? So I'm going to uh, set the path to the Helm Guest Book, right? To here. Okay, then destination. In destination cluster URL, uh, Kubernetes dot default dot SVC, the namespace is default, right? Okay, now I'm going to click on create. So as you can see, our application, right? Project name, label, status, repository, target, path, destination, namespace, and create date and typing. A few seconds ago. Okay, right. Now let's click on this. And as you can see here, the app help missing, sync status, out of sync, and so on, right? So we need to sync this first, okay? So how to sync? So click on sync. And after that, click on synchronize. So as you can see, sync status synced. Last sync, sync, okay. And you can see the date and timing, right? Okay. And wait for app help. It's progressing. So wait for a few seconds. It's progressing. So as you can see, it's healthy, right? So our app status is healthy. Okay. Now, after that here, you can see we need to check our pods. So how to check? So the command is kubectl get pods. So let's check here. So as you can see, Helm guest book, right? My path name is Helm guest book and ready one of one status is running and the age is 44 seconds ago. After that, let's check the service. So you can see Helm guest book, cluster IP and the port number is 80 and the age is 60 seconds. And let's check the deploy. Helm guest book, one of one, up to date one, available one, and the age is 73 seconds ago, right? That means we have successfully deployed our app, right? Okay. After that, how to access this in our browser? So for that, you can see here, after app is healthy, to access Helm, Helm guest book deployment on browser, so forward the SVC Helm guest book to the port by using 9090 using kubectl, right? So the command is here. So let's forward this. Uh, let's forward this port. So I'm going to copy this command and paste here. So as you can see, forwarding the port. So to access this app in our browser, so the port number is 9090, right? So how to access? So simply copy your instance IP and hit on browser. And the port number is 9090. So as you can see, guest book, message, submit, and query here, and search, right? So that's the, our final output, and that's the, our application that we have deployed, right? So that's it. So in this session, we have learned how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD UI. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.